Hi everyone, it's Vicky here and today I thought to make a quick questions and answers video. So let's get straight to the questions. The number one question that I get all the time is if I ever going to make a quick room tour. So there are two main reasons why I have postponed doing such a video and that's uh, mainly first because uh, I have so many things and uh, I don't want to brag about them. After all, it's my job. And uh, second, because I don't want to give the wrong impression that you need all those stuff to create your projects. But after popular demand, I am going to film a room tour, which I am going to probably post it in a couple of weeks. Another common question that I get all the time is where I find inspiration. Where well, this is a very tricky question and it's so difficult to answer. But I mainly get inspiration by the season. Sometimes I get inspiration by a color combination or by a quote. And uh, many times I get inspired by the stamp that I am going to be working with. However, I do have an online class that is going to teach you a method on how you can find inspiration and how you can translate that inspiration into a layout. I am going to link you down below in the description area to this online class and if you click that link you will get a 50% discount. Now, do I pre-plan my pages. When you see a video, I really don't pre-plan anything when it comes on a card. I just shoot the video and uh, do the whole process on uh, camera. Now, the truth is that I do stop the camera if I need to think about it or if I am doing something boring like coloring for ages. I stop the camera and uh, although it seems that I did the card in 10 minutes, I'm actually maybe working on that card for 45 minutes or even an hour. Now, for uh, art journals though, I do have a general idea of what I am going to do and uh, maybe I know the stamp that I will be working on or maybe the focal point. But uh, I don't have a um, design on what I'm going to be doing and I certainly don't know how this is going to end up. Sometimes I do have a plan in my mind and as I am working on it, things might uh, take a different um, road. And uh, I think that's the beauty of it. I just uh, shoot the camera and see what uh, is going on. You also ask me if I make mistakes. Of course, I make mistakes all the time, but um, I try to somehow cover them up. And um, I usually, when I make a mistake on an art journal, uh, my friend is Jesso. So I use Jesso as an eraser to cover up the mistake and start over. And uh, if I make uh, a mistake on uh, a card, uh, I can uh, usually stick something on top and cover up everything, so nobody will ever know. Now, what do I do for a living and if I have an art background? I am going to take uh, things from the beginning. I do have a university degree and a master's degree in computer science. And I have been working as a high school teacher for uh, ages, teaching uh, computers in uh, high school. But after my blog and YouTube channel became so popular, I quit my job and now my full-time job is uh, crafting. So I am a professional blogger and YouTuber and uh, in the meantime, I also do live workshops all around the world. I also participate in online classes and you can find some links on my online classes down below. So do I have any art background? Well, as long as I can remember, I have been uh, a drawing and painting. I always had uh, brushes and uh, paints in my hands and uh, as I grew up I went to take some uh, painting lessons. I do have uh, my own oil paintings decorating my house. Of course my biggest love is card making and art journaling but uh, I am doing uh, many other types of crafts that you don't see on camera from uh, pottery to jewelry making to even sewing my own clothes. What do I love most, card making or art journaling? Now, this is a very difficult question because it's so difficult for me to choose one of them. I love them both equally and they give me a different um, satisfaction when I make a card or an art journal. Now, uh, card making is uh, obviously quicker 
and um, it uh, satisfies the OCD in me. I can be very precise, I can make uh, many details and uh, I always want uh, my car to be perfect since it's meant to be sent to somebody else. Now on the other side, when I am doing an art journal, I can be more free. This is a layout just for me, just for playing and having fun. And I don't have to be perfect, but at the same time, I think it helps me express the creativity that I have in me. I get many questions about my live workshops and if I am ever going to visit certain cities. Now, I do go and teach live workshops when I am invited by shops or by certain events. So if I get an invitation from a certain shop or an event that takes place in your city, then you probably see one of my live workshops. About the supplies, basic supplies for art journaling and card making. First of all, I do have a one-on-one -on -one video on uh, art journaling, which I am going to link here, and you will find a link down below in the description area, where I am uh, taking you through all the essentials for me, uh, for my own style, on uh, art journaling. But uh, in any case, if you want to start an art journal, then uh, the simplest things that you can get is, of course, a book that has uh, nice thick pages that can take uh, paint nicely and um, acrylic paints. Other than that, you can uh, draw your own uh, drawings directly on your page or uh, cut out uh, images from magazines or even uh, print out images from your computer. Cut them out, stick them down and you have a nice uh, page to start with. Now about card making, I believe that if you are starting out, you can start with the basics by maybe getting a couple of uh, stamp sets, for example one for birthdays and another one for Christmas, so that you can make your greeting cards, and uh, just get a couple of ink pads, like a black one or, and uh, a red or a green one. Now as you go along, month by month, you can uh, allocate a certain amount to buy things for your new hobby. So you don't really have to buy everything uh, from the beginning. So from the for the first month you can buy, for example, an embossing powder and a heat gun. And the next month you can buy a paper trimmer and uh, you can go on uh, like that. You will not believe how much uh, stash you will have uh, by the end of one year. My monthly feature about uh, one kit 10 cards has been a very popular feature on my YouTube channel, which I am planning to continue. And uh, I do get a lot of questions about that, uh, mainly on how long does it take me to make the 10 cards. Now, I probably work about uh, two evenings for making all those cards, but um, I never pre-plan what I am going to do. I start the camera and start working on it. However, I do have a process. For example, I take all the cardstock and cut them in half, even if I don't have anything on my mind at that point. And you will see that once you get started to make the first card, ideas will start coming for the next card and the other one after that. I even think that it's uh, even easier to work with uh, supplies that come in a kit rather than having to think uh, on what you can use from all the stars. Sometimes get, having so much stuff around you can get overwhelming. So in my one uh, card kit, uh, 10 cards, is usually easier for me because I know that uh, these are the, su the supplies that I have on the table and these are the only things that I have to work with. So ideas come easily for me. Now, I get a lot of questions about my uh, distress blending and uh, how can uh, you make blending look so smooth. Now, I do have a secret and uh, I always work on uh, the Simon Says Stamp white cardstock, which I am going to link you down below. I think that uh, blending uh, your distress inks on that cardstock really makes a difference, but also in any type of cardstock that you might be working on, you need to remember two things. The first one is not to press your blending tool too hard. And the second one is not to load your blending tool with too much ink. If you add too much ink from the beginning, you won't be able to blend it with the rest of the colors and you will never end up with a nice and smooth finish. Why do I choose to use American-sized standard cards rather than European standard-sized uh, cards? 
Well, uh, there are two main reasons for that. The first reason is, of course, that uh, all my supplies come from the US and obviously I do have cardstock that uh, is a, a letter sized uh, cardstock. That means that if I cut it in half, I end up with two American sized uh, standard cards. And the second reason is because 90% of my audience here on YouTube is from uh, the US. So I tend to use uh, US standards like inches and letter sized cardstock. So what do I do with all the cards that I'm making? Now, as you can see, I decorate my craft room with my cards, some of the cards that I make, the ones that I really love, as well as with my uh, art journals. But uh, I do send a lot of cards to my friends and uh, sometimes I even make sets out of the cards that I make and hand them out as gifts to friends so that they can um, send them uh, on their own. Now, I never sell my cards, never sell the cards, so I don't really know how much uh, it would cost you to sell a card. Now about uh, scrapbooking layouts. I don't do scrapbooking, however, I do themed uh, project life type albums for our family vacation. But uh, I don't tend to post about them on YouTube. If uh, you follow me, you probably know that uh, I never share photos of my family and especially my kids online. And that's because for safety reasons, as well as uh, because I value their privacy. Now, I also get a lot of questions about how you can start having a blog and do what I am doing. Now, all I can say is uh, just have a blog, uh, post your photos, your projects there. It's going to work as a portfolio for your uh, projects as well as uh, a way to track how you progress as a designer. Uh, try to uh, get a place in a design team and at the same time try to play along in challenges. This is going to get you more out there and you will gain more audience. Now, in case you want to start uh, making YouTube videos, in uh, the video that I will be posting in about two weeks, uh, along with my uh, craft room tour, I will post my setup and all the equipment that I use. So probably this is going to help you out. So that's it for today. I hope uh, that was fun for you as it was for me. If you have more questions, just pop them down below and uh, I probably make another questions and answer video in uh, the next month. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you on my next video.